it is very 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 tough for someone you know the courage it takes for someone to actually leave whatsoever they're doing to send you a dm it, it takes a big courage to just send a dm to someone to want to buy a product that you see maybe online or you see their styles and you want to purchase like you want to patronize them to so just even summon the courage and message the person to ask for price so i think you should value this enough to be the one to respond to them so hello guys and welcome back to another video i believe you guys are having a nice time i've wanted to talk about this for quite a while but i've not been able to be chance so i think if you're having problem with actually getting conversion maybe like getting people to purchase your product or being able to like close a customer deals and things like that i think this might be a major problem and i don't want to base this conversation on on just a mere ground like that maybe it is working for some people that i don't know but it's actually not working for me so let me put it this way i know you've seen that whatsapp autoresponder right i think whatsapp is the major social media in which we can relate personally right like directly with an individual right and you would have come encountered those people whereby you're going to send them a message and they are going to you're going to get an instant response and be like hello we are not around right now we are going to get back to you sort of and stuff like that maybe this is a problem but i don't want to accept the fact that it could be a problem to actually making money so in order to solve your problem and in order to solve my own like my own questioning also I, I run two campaigns. I run two campaigns. The first campaign is to... I, 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 get, I direct the lead to a WhatsApp messenger whereby I set it to autoresponder. I even try as much as possible. I'm not saying that I'm busy. I, I, I will get back to you soon. I, I, I wrote a... I crafted a genuine message that looked like a human, right? Like, I want them to do this exactly the same way most other people do it, but like a, in a humanly tone. And the second campaign, I run it directly to another WhatsApp, whereby I will be the one to respond to all messages. I will type, I will answer their questions, and I'm going to take my time to put them through whatever they want. That means those leads, right? So what I come to realize is that the first campaign I ran with the WhatsApp, with the autoresponder, right? The conversion rate was like flop it was like flop so if because the thing i come to real, let me just quickly say this the thing i come to realize is that people actually crave for human interaction whether they want to give you money they want to part with money or they want to do anything you can't just bump them with a bot like a robot just answering the question it's it's crazy so I, I realized that the conversion rate on that one, on the one with autoresponder is like around, let's say like out of 100, like 2% out of 100 because I get, I think I got like 500 um, leads on the WhatsApp, WhatsApp messenger, right? And out of the 500 leads, I only got one person to make payments. And the person I got to make payments, I actually, I was the one that went back under the message to directly answer the question and the person even called me to have a normal conversation right about this about that and about and he was saying like he messaged me i wasn't I, I was sending an auto responder like i was thinking like this person wanted to just lead him to maybe a social media to just go and subscribe to something like and i'm like no then the second lead which is the second campaign that i did lead all the lead i got I got up to like, I think I got up to like 1,000 plus leads on that account. And I got that lead because the account was actually doing well, right? That's why the conversion was even higher. And I think I got over 70 conversion, like over 70%. It goes crazy because I responded to them. I answered their question. Some even called me and we talk about the product. We talk about the how it can be beneficial for them and they, they, it, they find it easy because they're talking to a person to actually purchase the product and make a payment and stuff like that so i've been thinking if you're having issue with 
your your conversion if you're having an issue with your customer not paying you and you yeah that your auto responder is i think it's disrespectful i i don't know why do, i just don't okay imagine you want to go and buy a bread in your favorite bakery or let me not even say your favorite bakery like you saw a bakery advertising okay you saw a bakery advertising bread and when you get there to just at least know something about what they are selling or maybe you even intend to buy and the next thing you're going to get is that sorry we are not making bread today we will get back to you as soon as possible it might sound good to your ears but i don't think it makes any sense i sent a message to paypal a billion dollar company because i was having an issue with my paypal account and an human being responded to me a lady sheila she was like oh you're having issue you cannot link your um us account to your paypal because you are not in um dubai because you created your account in dubai when you get back to dubai you can and i just I like, can you just help me i'm not in dubai now and stuff like that I, she was like it's only if you get to dubai or you have a direct ip that is linked to dubai that can help you to do so if a billion dollar company can actually use an human customer care and somebody on whatsapp you're just going to message them and they'll be like this is the ceo of like what the are you serious what are you the ceo you just need to talk to people and just 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 at, at least at least when they, they send the message just answer them like a normal person respond like a normal person you can even tell them like please for, uh, i'm really busy right now i'm going to be, get back to you in like 30 minutes or one hour time is that too difficult see you're going to get to a stage in which you might not be able to answer all of the all of the message you're going to get right you can th that's why people have PA, personal assistant or even someone that just undo their social media so that a human can actually respond to question because people have a lot of question and it is very 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 tough for someone you know the courage it takes for someone to actually leave whatsoever they're doing to send you a dm like, do, do you know do you know what it takes like it's not an it's not just it, it take a big courage to just send a dm to someone to want to buy a product that you see maybe online or you see their styles and you want to purchase like you want to patronize them it's not as easy as it sounds to just even summon the courage and message the person to ask for price so i think you should value this enough to be the one to respond to them so I'm not saying that you should not use an autoresponder, right? I'm saying that you should use it only on a rare occasion whereby maybe your phone have an issue, right? And you, you you cannot get a phone in like maybe in two days interval and you can just tell them like this will happen so you can direct them to maybe your Instagram or ask them to call you directly or if you have a different mobile number that you want them to call just put it on the autoresponder I won't be available my phone had an issue my screen my phone screen actually got broken so call me directly I'll pick up your call how about that instead of saying this is the CEO of whatever or oh, this is um <laughs> this is this is uh, this is the chairman of an NPC <laughs> Oh, this doesn't make sense so i'm just saying i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm just saying like you guys should if you have ever messaged me right if you have ever messaged me and i've tried to even message people in this industry that are big and it's just amazing how they answer you and it's not a bot they are not saying this is the ceo of kineco clothing like imagine so uh if you're having issue with getting a lead and conversion i think you should put this in perspective and pay attention to to this area it's very important be be be, be, be spontaneous enough to be quick to answer people it's take an effort to send dm to people and ask them about their product and be willing to want to at least they take an interest right so that should be that that should be precious enough to 
to to pay to 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 give them the attention they deserve so i think i, I just have to talk about this in this video maybe it's helping somebody i don't know so um that's about it on this please you can just tell them like i'll respond to you in a few hours time like in 30 minutes time and try to call them back or try to respond so that's about it i hope you guys learned something from the video i guess i add value in one way or the other and i will see you guys on another video i made a video on how to cut a dashiki probably something like this thing that i'm wearing i'll put a picture of either of it on the screen right now so you guys can actually learn about how to make something like this and i have several videos about making things cutting clothes practical aspects and i have classes online also where i teach um intensive students how to do some styles some professional course suit making and stuff like that link will be in the description below to my telegram and my website and that's about it and i'll see you on another video do have a lovely day and um and to the end salute see you bye bye oh,